Mr. Fluffy Pants here. Today, guys, another trailer reaction. And the new Morbius trailer came out today, which, you know, I'm going to react to the new uh, trailer breakdown slash review at the end of this video. But, um, I didn't even know, like, I knew this movie was coming out and I knew the trailer was coming out today. But, I mean, do we really need a Morbius movie? I mean, it's got Jared Leto in it, but, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to judge after the trailer, but, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to this. But let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> of course, the trailer before the trailer. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. You have a gift. You always have. And like, I don't know any of the backgrounds of Morbius, but I know he's a villain. You'll find it. I should have died years ago. I like the soundtrack scene, though. I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something. What is it? That's not exactly legal. I don't want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. to go to fix something that's broken until the remedy <laughs> is worse than the disease last shot was pretty cool but Michael Keaton's in it. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I don't really know what to think yet, but uh, now we'll get to my trailer breakdown slash reviews. It's kind of weird that, you know, this and Venom 2 is coming out the same year, but, eh. but let's go and get into that. But anyway, guys, now we're into my review slash breakdown, which, you know, where I kind of give my overall thoughts, you know, after, you know, my first time seeing the trailer. But um, this movie definitely does look, old, you know, really weird. And I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, I don't know if uh, I'll probably end up going seeing it, but eh, I don't really know. Um, you know, Jared Leto, he's not my favorite actor, but, uh, you know, what he's doing with the role seems a little interesting. But like I said, I don't really know any of the background on Morbius, but... Uh, in this movie, at least, he has, like, a blood disease, and, uh, uh, he experiments with, like, vampire bats or something, and, you know, then he gets, like, a, you know, because he's Morbius, the living vampire, so, um, he's also a Spider-Man villain, and that, uh, you know, we'll get to something at the end of the trailer a little later, which some people are saying something, but I don't believe it's that, but I'm getting very, uh, uh, sp Amazing Spider-Man 2 Green Goblin vibes uh, from this movie so far, uh, if that makes any sense. And this part here is kind of confusing, like, what the heck is that? That's raising up right there. Uh, but I don't know what it has to do with the bats, but okay. Um, you know, like I said, this is going to be really weird origin, I think. Like, really, really weird, but... You know, some of his powers looks cool, I guess. Uh, again, I'm just not really too sure how to feel about it. Uh, I, 
like I don't know I guess I'll be excited for it but I'm more excited for Venom 2 to be completely honest but um it does appear that does that does cure his blood disease and gives him you know powers and stuff but like I said I'm more excited and then they're like from the state that brought you a uh, whole coming far from home and Venom uh, um especially they put Spider-Verse on there but um it's also interesting this one comes out in July and then October we're getting Venom 2 um, and I'm not sure if this is going to be PG-13 or rated R, uh, that would be kind of interesting, but this right here is kind of cool, I will say, you know, we're, uh, I don't know, it looks like teleportation or like, um, you know, just running really fast, he's got echolocation, which is really cheesy to be completely honest, but, um, uh, yeah, I'm not really you know, sure what the heck's going on here, but, um, you know, like, you know, it does seem interesting to, you know, see what he's doing with the role and all, but, um, you know, and then, uh, you know, at the very end of this trailer, we do see him actually, you know, like, full-on vampire, you know, attire, and like, you know, where he actually looks like a vampire, which did leak a few days ago, but, uh, right there, that's pretty cool, I will say, that's probably my favorite shot of the entire, you know, uh, trailer, but, you get Morbius, you know, the title card, uh, which, you know, title card does look pretty cool, but, um, and then this right here is kind of interesting. There, some people are saying that that's actually supposed to be the vulture from Far From Home and, you know, uh, Homecoming, or at least Homecoming, which I don't really think so. Nothing really, you know, leads me to believe that, but I don't know. Who knows? But like I said, this show is definitely interesting, and I don't really know what to think about it. Um, probably go see it, but it looks really, really weird, and I don't know, but anyway, guys, leave your thoughts in the trailer down below. Check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. Like, subscribe for more. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!